Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 6 of the Detroit Tigers franchise rebuild here on Cardboard Cutouts. And as you can see here, we are 9 games under 500, third in the AL Central. So before we get started, uh, as you can see, Grayson Grenier is back from his injury. We're going to leave him in AAA on a rehab ass assignment, let him work his way back into the swing of things before we make a decision on whether to move him back up. So we're going to play the, the three-game series against Cleveland to the end of the month of June. Casey Mize is going to get the start in the first game. You can see here he's 4-6 and six with a 454 ERA and the 141 whip. Not the greatest of starts, but it is his first full year in his rookie season, so hopefully he can turn it around. Now here he is against Cesar Hernandez, and he sends a ball to the left center, and that's going to get down and roll all the way to the wall, and he's going to start the game with a leadoff double. Not the best way to start the game for the struggling Mize. Next up is Harold Ramirez on an 0-2 count, and he's going to try to get a slider down and away, and he gets it on the kind of Lario who throws it to first for out number one. That's going to bring up Jose Ramirez here, and he has a 0-2 count and the pitch, and he sends it deep to right, and Mazzara can't make the play. That's going to be a home run, and he's going to put the Indians up two to nothing here in the early parts of this game. Vermeil Reyes is going to be up next, still with only one out, and he's going to send a chopper to the left side of the mound. Mize is going to come off and make the play and get himself out number two. Next up, Eddie Rosario with a 2-2 count and the pitch. And Mize freezes him with the sinker down in the zone to end the first inning. We're going to jump to the bottom of the second. Bradley Zimmer is up the bat with two outs on a 0-1 count. And he lays down a bunt. And it's going to be a perfect bunt. And Zimmer is going to beat the throw for a, a single. That's going to bring up Roberto Perez here. 1-0 oh, count. And he grounds out to Mize who flips it to first to end the second here. Still 2-0. That's going to bring up Canelario on the top of the third, and he swings, puts the ball deep to right, and that's a no-doubter if it stays fair, and it does. Home run. That's going to bring the Tigers within one on Canelario's ninth of the season. So we're going to jump to the bottom of the third. Jose Ramirez is back up, and he sends a ball, and that's going to flip on the short. And we get the double play to end the third. Next up at the top of the fifth is Harold Castro. And he sends a ball deep to right center. And that looks like it's going to be extra bases. But no! Bradley Zimmer with the diving catch to take away extra bases. So on the bottom of the fifth now, Bradley Zimmer's up. And he bunts. And this one's a little too hard. Feel it on the second. Back to first. And Zimmer beats the throw to save a double play. After a Zimmer steal, Roberto Perez is up, and that's going to be painting the corner for strike three for out number two here in the fifth. Cesar Hernandez comes up now on a 1-2 count, and that's just going to be grounded up to Candelario, throws the first for the third out to end the fifth. On to the bottom of the sixth now, Harold Ramirez is up on a 1-2 count. And he sends a ball deep to left, and that one's just going to sneak over the wall for a home run. It's going to be 3-1 to one now. Still bottom of the six. Two outs, one on, and that's going to be grounded to second. Flip to first to end the sixth inning. Bottom of the seventh now. Andreas Jimenez up with a 2-0 count. And Joey Wentz is in to pitch, and he sends a ball up the middle, and that's going to get through. He's going to have a leadoff single here to start the bottom of the seventh. Next up, Cesar Hernandez with two on, one out. A 1-1 one -one count, and that's going to get through the right side. Mazzara charging hard, comes up throwing to the plate. The throw is on time, the tag's on time, and that is an out to save a run and keep it 3-1. to one. Harold Ramirez is up now, bottom of the seventh, two out still, and he grounds out to second. And that's going to end the seventh. And what a play by Mazzara there. Now, Harold Castro's up top of the eighth with one out. And he sends a ball just over the first baseman's head. That's going to get to the wall. Castro's going to make the turn and get in the second for our first hit since the Candelario home run. 
speaking of Candelario, he's up next here. And he has an 0-1 count and the pitch. And he sends a fly ball to the left. The left fielder is going to run into foul territory and make the catch and hold Castro at second. So that's going to bring up Mazzaro next. 1-2 count, 2 out. And he swings through, through strike 3. Perez is going to throw him out at first to end the threat here in the 8th. So we're going to jump ahead to the top of the ninth to see if we can't make a comeback here. Victor Reyes is leading us off, and he sends the ball through the hole and right, and we're going to have a leadoff single here to start the ninth inning by Victor Reyes. So that'll bring up Robbie Grossman here, and he's going to be first pitch swinging, and he sends the ball to right center, but that's well within Zimmer's range. He's going to make the catch, hold the runner at first, out number one. Next up, Willie Castro. He has an OO count. He'll be first pitch swinging as well. First baseman fields it on the short, back to first, and a double play to end the game. As you can see, Mize picks up the loss, but it's still a quality start for him. He's pitched six innings, only let up three runs, and we'll take any little type of win we can have for our young guys just to show them that they can do this and build their confidence heading into a season. Uh, later seasons. So after the game, we decided looking at some of our stats here, and you can just tell like our average were averages were seven, runs were twentieth, hits were fourth, and our home runs we are dead last in the league. So we're just in our RBIs here are twentieth. So we're getting on base, we're just not getting the clutch hits to score the runs. And we need a more consistent showing by our offense. And that will, in turn, help our pitchers so they don't have to feel like they have to come out and pitch a perfect game or they can just come out and throw the ball. And that will just make this team be more consistent and we can actually stay in games instead of faltering in the late innings is what we have been doing a lot so far this season. But we're going to jump into the third game to try to avoid another sweep at the hands of the Indians. First up is Harold Castro with one out, and he sends a ball down the third base line, just fair, and that's gonna be a single here to start us off in the first top of the first inning. Next up, Willie Castro, oh count, he swings and sends a ball deep to right. That's gonna get to the wall. Harold Castro's gonna go to third, Willie Castro, that's a little confusing, and goes to second with a double. Wilson Ramos is up next. He here with the all one count, batting in the fourth hole today, and he sends up the ball up the middle, just missing the pitcher. Second baseman is going to make the play with Ramos having zero speed. He had a lot of time, but a run will score here, putting the Tigers up one nothing early. Next up is Jonathan Scope. He's a guy who really wants his bat to get going, so he has some kind of trade value. But he sends a first pitch out to left and the left fielder doesn't have to move to make the catch for out number three to end the first the top of the first onto the bottom of the first Andres Jimenez is leading off on a 0-2 count and Matthew Boyd just misses his mark and that one stays fair to tie the game 1-1 here in the bottom of the first and that's just like I was saying how our season's going we get a run and then we instantly give it right back to him in the bottom half of the inning and that's just something that is going to need a little bit more consistent going forward so that'll bring up Cesar Hernandez as the second batter of the game and it bounces off Canelario's glove and he can't recover and Hernandez is going to get on with a single and the first two batters are going to start with two hits that's going to bring up Jose Ramirez now and he's pops up into foul territory. Candelario is going to run under it to make the catch for out number one. Reyes is up with a 2-1 count after a steal from Hernandez here and he sends the ball to right and Brock Deathridge is going to camp under it and make the catch. The runner will advance to third but we do have two outs here. So that's going to bring up Josh Naylor with a 1-2 and two count here and the pitch and he is going to fly out to center Victor Reyes will camp underneath of it to keep the game 1-1 now on the top of the third Brock Deathridge is up to bat with a 1-0 count and he sends the ball to right center 
but that's just going to be capped under for the first out. And we're going to jump ahead to the bottom of the third. Jose Ramirez is up, one on, two out, and Matthew Boyd freezes him with a fastball for strike three, out three. On to the top of the fourth, Wilson Ramos is up to bat, and he is first pitch swinging, and he sends the ball to the left side of the infield, and that's going to be a single to get us started here in the fourth. Jonathan Scope is up, and he's a guy we really would like to get his bat going, like I was saying earlier. And he once again flies out to center. He's now 0-2 on the day. That's not a good sign for a guy we want to get going. Miguel Cabrera is up now, and he sends a ball to shallow right field, and that will be out number three here in the fourth inning. Now to the bottom of the fourth inning, Reyes will lead off here with a 1-0 count, and he sends a ball deep to left center, and Robbie Grossman misplays it completely, and that's going to bang off the wall, and Reyes is going to get in with a leadoff double. So that'll bring up Josh Naylor again here with a 2-2 count. And the pitch, and Boyd gets him to swing through strike three for out number one. Next up, Jordan Luplo with a 1-1 count. And he sends the ball to center field. That's pretty deep. We'll see if Reyes tags up. And he will not. Richard Reyes will throw it in, and we're going to have two outs with a man on second still. Next up is Eddie Rosario with a 1-0 count and the pitch. And that is just blooped out to shallow left. Willie Castro will make the catch to end the threat and escape that inning. So Doc Brock Deathridge is up now, top of the fifth, with two outs. And he's probably our number three prospect, outfield prospect. And he sends a ball to right center. That's going to get all the way to the wall, and he's going to have a double here for us to keep the fifth inning alive. We decided to move Brock up after Badu has been struggling. But that brings up Richard Reyes, who sends a ball to right center himself, and that's deep, and the right fielder dives and can't make the catch. That is going to go over the wall and save the Indians from, Vic from Reyes getting a triple. And you can see here, and he right fielder just misses. It bounces up and over the wall, but the run will come to score to give the Tigers a 2-1 lead. That brings up Harold Castro now, and he sends the ball to shallow left center. Zimmer's going to run in, make the catch to end the fifth inning. That's going to take us to the bottom of the fifth. Roberto, Roberto Perez is up to bat now on a 1-0 count, and he sends the ball deep to right center. And Victor Reyes is running hard, and he's going to make the catch in right center for out number one. That's going to bring up Bradley Zimmer here, and he is going to lay down a bunt. That one might have been a little bit too hard, but Harold Castro can't get it out of his glove. Zimmer will beat the throw, and he's going to get himself an infield single. That's going to bring up Andres Jimenez here, and he sends a ball, a line drive to left, and Robbie Grossman will come in a few steps, makes the catch for out number two. Cesar Hernandez is in the box now with a full count. And that's going to be on the bottom of the zone for strike number three to end the fifth inning. Wilson Ramos is up now. He's one for two of the day, with a, and here he is with a 1-1 one, one count. And he sends a ball to right center, and that's going to bloop in there. And he has been on fire for us lately. Jonathan Sculpt will be up next, and he's first pitch swinging. And he sends a ball deep to left center. No doubt home run for Jonathan Scope to put the Tigers up 4-1 to one here, and that's Scope's 8th of the year. Now that's what we want to see. Moving on here to the top of the segment with two outs. Willie Castro's up to bat with a man on second, and he sends a ball down the third baseline. That's going to be fair. A run's going to come around the score, and the Tigers are going to go 5-1 to one here. That's going to bring up Wilson Ramos here again with a 0-2 count. And he sends a ball deep to left field. And when you're hot, you are hot. That is another two-run home run here for him. And one thing we forgot to mention is he's actually like third in the all-star race for catchers. So this streak right here is just put like vaulting him higher and higher. So hopefully he can keep this hot streak going here. And plus, you know, we'll take all the runs we can get. Now on to the bottom of the seventh. Blue blows up with a 3-2 count, and he sends a ball deep to left, and the Indians are going to get one back here 
It's now 7 to 2. Still in the bottom of the seventh now, man on with two outs. Andreas Jimenez is up to bat, and he's going to ground out to the first baseman for out number three to end the seventh. Now, on to the bottom of the ninth, after the Tigers and the Indians both add a run here, Michael Formers on to pitch, and he gets an easy fly ball out to right center for out number one here. Next up, Eddie Rosario with an 0-2 count. And the pitch. And strike number three. He's looking at a fastball up in the zone. Roberto Perez is up as a last gasp effort from the Indians on an 0-2 count. And he sends a ball deep to left. And that's going to put the Indians within four. Now, that's going to put up Bradley Zimmer, who's been an absolute pain in our side today. And he's going to keep that going with the ball deep to right center. That's going to get down into the wall. He's going to have himself a double here. And the Indians are not done fighting here. And this is what has been happening to us. We just falter late in the games. That brings up Jimenez here. And it's going to be a ball to right center. Deathridge dies but can't make the play. The run will come to score. Jimenez will have himself an RBI double. That puts the Indians down by three. So we decided to bring in Jose Cisnero so this game doesn't slip away. And he's going to get Harold Ramirez to ground out to second. On to first for out number three. He's going to get himself a one-out save to give the Tigers a win. And Wilson Ramos is going to get the player of the game going three for five. And Boy's going to pick up the win with pitching 6.2 innings with seven hits. So, as you can see, this is how the month of June ended for us. Uh, we won that game to avoid another sweep by the Indians, but we finished 13-14, and 14, just one game under 500 for the month of June. Um, not too bad considering those string of losses we had at the end. You know, two against Cleveland, one against Houston, and then two more against Houston before we had a win. But that's going to do it here in episode six. Uh, next episode will begin at the All-Star break, and we'll see if Wilson Ramos can sneak his way in there. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. I'll, we'll see you next time here on Cardboard Cutouts.